Element Welder, introduced in EDAP Tools version 6, has been a huge success. Users are very excited about it and keep inventing all kinds of applications. In an upcoming update, we will be releasing the next step in the evolution of Element Welder and I would like to just give you a brief overview of what you can expect. So at present, a welded element, which is the back part of this skirt, follows its uh, parent. If we rotate the parent element, the welded element, which is the back part of the skirt, follows. But if we accidentally click on the back part of the skirt, which is the welded element, as I said, it still independently can rotate. Retroactively, we call this soft welding. You can uh, obviously press the smart magnet joint shortcut and it will snap into position. But with uh, this upcoming update, we will release hard welding as well. So a dialog pops up and you can go hard welding. Now the difference between soft welding and hard welding is that regardless of whether you click the parent or the child, the interaction will be exactly the same. So you can eliminate all those errors while clicking. If you need two elements to behave as one, as is the case with this skirt here, there is no more chance that you can make a mistake by clicking the back part that is welded. The parent will follow the child. And of course, there will be many more applications. In this case here, you can see we use hard welding for a patch for this um, upper arm here that covers the outline. So instead of in, in the past, a soft welded patch would require you to be very careful to only click the parent element, but not the patch. While with hard welding, the patch and the arm behave as one. They literally become one. So there is no way that you can uh, actually offset your patch. If I uh, use just the VTool, I can move the patch away can rotate it it's still two snaps and it will be in place so patching will work exceptionally well with uh, hard welding hard welding is coming soon and it will uh, bring more flexibility to smart magnet rigs and here is just uh, another example where we can see the different uh, applications of hard welding and soft welding. So the skirt again, the back of the skirt is hard welded. So we have this kind of movement regardless of whether uh, we rotate the front or the back part of the skirt. While with the torso here, this lower element is the master and this upper part of the torso is soft welded so the upper part of the torso follows the lower part of the torso but with this other extender we can still have the additional movement in the upper part of the torso so this is an fk chain this second element is soft welded to its parent so with this uh, handle here with this fk extender we control both but here we can still rotate so this is uh, another very good application of the soft welding so there's room for soft welding and there's room for hard welding and we are providing both 